The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. After all that graceful repelling, I was certainly not headed back that way. There was no reason to chop down that perfectly good tree. The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. The wheel was already broken. No sense rubbing it in. The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. Give me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. That missing wheel had me stumped. 
I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Here, kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty! Seems like a waste of money. Oh, here we go. No! I did not use the hatchet to scare that growling animal. Hmm. No wheels are there. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? Bakery, and it smelled delicious. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. Seems like a waste of. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. I decided to leave some coins for the bread. The delectable goods looked tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. I thought these potions, herbs, and other magical sundries were best observed from afar. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. You cut? Not that type of st I couldn't figure. 
I didn't need to power more than one wheel. Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. And then you took out your hatchet and chopped that baby tree to bits. No, no. Bad idea. I wished I had some marshmallows. I wished I had some marshmallows. Looked like a blacksmith shop of sorts. I borrowed enough for the day. Can I squeeze by you, gents? No. We are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. I put the bread back and went looking for a new wheel. I took my money back. Big, round, that should do the trick. Seems like a waste of... Shortcut. Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree? Again? No, I guess not. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns! I thought this might do the trick. A shield, eh? Whoa, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. Makes quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm, just like my shorts. This is perfect. <gasps> I hope you didn't pay too much for it. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? No, thanks. Not really interested. Are you sure? They'll charge you double at the tournament. They're not as trustworthy as I am. The price still seems really high to me. Okay, okay, you're twisting my turban here. I didn't pay you for such a deal, Deliberator. Final offer, half off the previously discounted rate. Come on, treat yourself, boy. Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy, so do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. 
Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heel! Halt! Abyss! Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. <laughs>